We've got a little bit of news on Face It for you. Drafting will be a thing. On Tuesday, we released another update, which brought with it a couple of very welcome changes and a new shiny. If you've jumped in game, you've probably noticed fragment cases haven't been dropping after matches. That's because they've been removed, and instead we've more than doubled the drop rate of loadout cases. We also threw the latest addition to our Obsidian operatives into the store. It's proxy, by the way, and it's awesome. Enjoy. Work on Face It is coming along swimmingly, and we're happy to say that the vast majority of our development is now complete. For those of you that don't know, Face It is a competitive platform where you can play with friends in scrims and tournaments, and we're integrating it with Dirty Bomb. One of the features we're looking forward to most, and up until now has been unannounced, is the brand new drafting system, which I'm sure many of you are going to be happy about. The way it works? Each player picks one main merc, and the team captain then picks two sub mercs, which can be used by any player. The one merc rule is also imposed, and no two of the same mercs are allowed at one time on the same team. We'll release more information on this feature as time goes on, but we figured this makes the run up to 1.0 a little bit more exciting. Our first art competition of the year is live, and we've already had entries be submitted. To enter, all you need to do is create a brand new piece of safe for work dirty bomb art themed for summer, and submit it in the forum thread linked in the YouTube description. If you're one of the top three favorite pieces picked by the devs, then you'll be walking away with 11,000 rads and two prime loadout cases. So get your digital or physical paintbrushes at the ready and make something beautiful and send it our way. You have until August 28th, so get cracking. What's up, hombres? Name's Shu, and I'm gonna be giving you some answers today. But first, you got something to ask? Let us know in the comments below. Now, nah, let's get to it. Would it be possible to implement under level 5 and 10 servers back into the game? They already are. Although the levels are different to account for the leveling curve update not too long ago. Will you be giving more commands to server admins? We want to give you more access and commands to play with in community servers. But for now, our focus is on 1.0 and face it. And the work isn't planned. Do you have any plans to bring back Pineapple Juggler? You'll be sad to hear we don't have no plans to bring back Pineapple Juggler as an augment, but you can still get loadout cards with it on in the Bronze Loadout Card Store page. Can you add a lobby system where friends can join? Friends can already join your match by using the friends list. In regards to lobbies, our focus on Face It will allow you more ways to play with your friends again. This week we're featuring the CeeLo Clan, who have a community server up and are always ready for games. They also have a really active Discord, so if you want to play some games and make some friends in the process, check them out. Last week you reported issues were servers, private matches and hackers. For servers, if you're experiencing lag or something similar, please submit a ticket to our support team and provide as much information as possible. For private matches, we used to have the option for you to set up your own game, but it wasn't widely utilized. Today, we have community servers, which give you more control and you can rent them through multiplayer. And for hackers, if you're suspicious of a player, please submit a report using the in-game system. These are reviewed and appropriate action is taken. Now subscribe and get ready for Face It Drafting.